What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about the latest animated film in the Transformers franchise, Transformers 1. Directed by Josh Cooley, this film stars people like Chris Hemsworth, Brian Tyree Henry, Scarlett Johansson, Keegan-Michael Key, and many more. So when I heard we were going to be getting a brand new Transformers animated film shortly after the release of the last live action film that still has a sequel that should be planning to come out at some point, I was pretty excited but also a little bit hesitant. Then we got the first trailer and I thought it looked cute but it didn't necessarily immediately grip me. But as the months went on and I saw the trailer more and more, I found myself more and more excited to check out this movie. Now what did intrigue me though was the changing of the cast because this is an all-star cast for a new generation but I think one of the most notable cast members of the Transformers franchise that has kind of extended over the years of animated stuff into the even the live action movies is Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime. That is the voice that we know and love behind that character. And while there have been several other actors who have played the character in various animated features, it is one of those things that made me a little bit wary going into this film, especially because we had just gotten a live action film that also starred Peter Cullen. But with all that said, I went into this movie with open eyes. I had seen the trailer plenty of times. I was excited to see what this movie was gonna be all about as an OG Transformers fan. And so let's talk a little bit about what this movie is all about. This movie takes us back to the very beginning and it's an origin story for two of the most iconic characters in the franchise optimus prime and megatron but when we meet them they're orion pax played by chris hemsworth and d16 played by brian tyree henry alongside them you have people like alita one played by scarlett johansson and b127 also known as bumblebee played by keegan michael key and when we meet orion pax and d16 they're low tier bots that are working in the mines who just want more for themselves they feel like they're always looking down upon they don't have the ability to transform and so they seek out an adventure to try to do what they can to help the leader of the, the Transformers, Sentinel Prime, hoping that it will help them get a promotion and rise in the ranks of the bots, only for them to uncover some secrets that make them change their entire outlook on the world around them. I won't say much more, but the base premise of this film outside of that is this is an origin story of Optimus Prime and Megatron before they become those characters. And so, yeah, this is a movie about them becoming those characters. It's a fun, whimsical adventure with the two of them being friends alongside Scarlett Johansson's Alita One and and Keegan-Michael Key's Bumblebee. And along the way, you meet a ton of other of the iconic Transformers characters, both Autobots and Decepticons and some other characters. And if you're a longtime fan of the franchise, I think there's gonna be a lot of fun to be had with a lot of the characters that appear in this movie. One of the biggest names that you also see in the trailer is Lawrence Fishburne as Alpha Trion, who plays a very significant role in the film. And it was nice to see that character here. There's way more to the story, but I think the trailers have actually done a fairly good job of just promising you an Optimus Prime Megatron origin story and not telling you too much of the details of the story, which allows you as a viewer to go into this movie and have a lot of surprises. And surprise is the main thing I think I can say about this movie because I enjoyed it. I expected to at least enjoy it enough, but I'm happy to say this has easily become one of my favorite Transformers films. As somebody who grew up watching the original series, the original animated series, and some of those other series that came out after some of the early animated series, I have so many fond memories of waking up to go to school and putting on my uniform for school and watching uh, various Transformers episodes before I would head out. I have so many memories of sitting on a Saturday morning and watching Transformers. And so this movie, in a lot of ways, felt like a modern age take, definitely something for modern day kids, but something that very much was inspired by some of those earlier franchises or earlier series in the franchise uh, that I grew up watching. I felt like it was very much trying to honor the legacy of where this franchise has come. And one of the things I've always kind of wanted in the world of a Transformers movie is a new Transformers film that takes place on Cybertron and focuses on the Transformers. While I love what they've done with certain live action films in the franchise and I love the look of most of those movies, I think it's no surprise to most of us that as the sequels went on, it became less and less exciting when it came down to the stories and the characters because it just felt like it was more about the action, which is always cool, and those movies look great, 
but ultimately just kind of felt lackluster narratively. And I think what took away from those movies more often than not were the human characters. I still have a lot of love in my heart for that original Michael Bay live action film, but the, a lot of those sequels just started to lose their way over time and kind of just left a bad taste in my mouth when it came down to the Transformers franchise. And so to have a film now that focuses all on the Transformers, on Cybertron, I always wanted this in a more live action look, even though it of course would still be animated just in a more live action kind of appearance. But I'm happy to just have a new Cybertron focused Transformers film that makes it about the Transformers because ultimately at its core, that's when Transformers is at its best. So that is when these characters are at their best. That is when the storytelling and the lore around the Transformers is at its best. Again, I enjoy plenty of the live action films, things like the original one. I like the last one, Rise of the Beast. I liked Bumblebee. Some of the other ones in the mix, I like the action of, but this for me, without a doubt, stood out as one of the better Transformers movies in terms of feature length films that we've gotten. And when it comes down to the voice cast, I think it's one of those things that is going to be kind of dependent on your personal taste as time goes on. It took a little bit of the movie for me to get used to these actors as these characters because when it comes down to the live action movies and a lot of the older animated series and even some of the newer animated series, the voice actors that they usually choose for some of these characters, most notably Optimus Prime and Megatron, tend to be a lot deeper, a lot more sultry, a lot more you know intense and intimidating. And I think that Chris Hemsworth and Brian Tyree Henry are able to bring those characters to life a little bit more as we get to the end and they become the characters we know and love. But in the earlier part of the film, there is that part of your brain that has to realize that these characters aren't Optimus Prime and Megatron yet, so they don't necessarily sound like the characters that you know and love just yet. So some of the voice acting felt a little bit cheesy at times in the earlier part of the films but it is something that kind of won me over as the movie went on and as these characters became who we know and love over time and i feel like it's a notable thing to say that this is actually the first feature length film that chris hemsworth is in when it comes down to an animated feature outside of this he has done voice work for things like marvel's what if but this is the first animated feature film starring chris hemsworth which i think is a pretty cool detail and speaking on the animation i thought the movie looked beautiful while there are elements about it that feel a little bit more like a modern cartoon in terms of its character designs as the movie went on i was able to buy into the overall aesthetic of the film more and more and it's undeniable that the crisp kind of colorful nature of the film really lent itself to some fun over the top action sequences throughout the course of the film and there's plenty especially as we get into the third act there are some great crowd pleasing action moments and some moments narratively that got applauses in the early screening that i got to check it out in and there were plenty of moments that actually gave me chills there was even a specific moment near the end of the film that gave me chills my mom was watching it with me alongside my wife and my mother-in-law and my mom just started like brushing her arms going like ooh, because she was getting chills herself so the movie did have those great chill inducing moments if you're a fan of the transformers franchise i think that this is a film that is going to work for not only kids of the modern day but also adults i had a lot of adults in my theater who were applauding at certain moments in the film and more notably I think this is a film that's going to introduce Transformers lore to kids today, but also be something that can really take a new approach to something that longtime fans love. You know, as a longtime Transformers fan, by no means am I the biggest lore head when it comes down to Transformers, but I know my stuff about Transformers. I know these characters. I know what Cybertron is all about. I know the original series and some of those various other series pretty well. So going into this, to see a lot of the Easter eggs, a lot of the characters that they involve, some of the story elements that they kind of of mixed and matched to kind of create a new story here i really appreciated the approach of keeping transformers alive in a way that felt authentic to what i grew up with instead of what a lot of the live action films did which make it more about the action and less so about that deep lore the opening of bumblebee where we're on cybertron is one of my favorite sequences in any live action movie and i've always wanted a movie just focused there so even though this isn't necessarily how i always envisioned it i do think this movie in a lot of ways is exactly what i always wanted just with a more modern take that's definitely leaning towards being more for the kids of this generation, but not so much where I feel like it alienates adults of this generation as well. I think this movie did a great job of striking a balance of being something that adults and kids today can enjoy and that longtime Transformers fans can enjoy. I'm sure there's going to be some longtime Transformers fans that just can't connect with this and maybe struggle with some of the dialogue at times, some of the jokes, and some of the voice acting, but overall, I found myself really enjoying this film. And if I had to say there was one big, big gripe that I had, 
had with this film is that the very beginning of the film felt like it took a little bit to kind of get going. It wasn't too long that I was bored or anything, but it's just a little bit of a gripe that's worth mentioning. Uh, I think on subsequent rewatches, this would be something that kind of doesn't bother me as much. But one notable thing I would say was probably my biggest detractor as we got to the latter part of the film was that at a certain point, it felt like the writers knew we needed to get these characters to Optimus Prime and Megatron. Orion, Pax, and D16 need to become these characters that the fans know by the time the film is over. And while I do think that they give these characters good motivations to slowly become those characters as we reach the finale of the film, it is one of those things where it did feel like some of that kind of happened a little bit fast. Like we need to get these characters moving. We need to get them starting to have these motives and these outlooks fairly quickly to become these characters that we know and love. And so that would be my biggest gripe Again, this is maybe something that on subsequent rewatches will kind of just brush off of me. But ultimately, I found that as I got to the latter part of the film, there was moments where it felt like some of these characters were kind of turning into Optimus Prime and Megatron a little bit faster than the film had kind of set up. I feel like they should have sprinkled in a little bit more of that growth throughout the course of the film because you have these two characters who at the beginning of the film are friends. They're they're best friends and they're going off on an adventure together and ultimately become the biggest rivals. And so you kind of have to be able to really slowly get us there and make it believable. And there were segments of the film that felt like we kind of were rushing to get to Optimus Prime and Megatron. Again, not a huge detractor, but something that at least is worth mentioning and was the biggest gripe I had with the movie. But outside of that, by the time we got to the end, I was having a lot of fun. I was really engaged with the film. I was never bored watching it. I found it to be a lot of fun to watch. It was really visually exciting. The voice acting grew on me over time. And ultimately, as a longtime Transformers fan, I was more surprised than anything that this film was as much fun as it was. And I honestly look forward to checking it out again. I hope that we get a sequel. And for all of those those who are curious there is a post credit scene at the very end of the credits so definitely stick around for that because i do think it sets up a pretty cool sequel if we do end up getting one so a big thanks to you guys for watching hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed this video comment your thoughts are you planning on checking out transformers one have you already seen it and that's what brought you to this review did you like it did you not like it whatever the case may be let me know down below in the comments and one last question what is your favorite transformers film of all time it can be the original transformers film from back in the day the animated one one of the live action ones, whatever the case may be, leave those comments down below and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Autobots, roll out.